Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 65 of our Trapped MC Prison Series. Guys, welcome back. We are starting the day off of, or with, sorry, a parkour, and I am lagging. No, for some reason, my, my game gets this huge lag spike that happens, like, right when um, I go into F5 mode. And I don't know why that happens, but it does. But we're going to go for the jump, and we're going all the way, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. We got this, baby. Come on. Okay. Yes. Yes. And good. Good jump. Okay. That's not bad. We're going to go ahead and get up here. We're going to get first place in this parkour. Hopefully, probably not, but it's okay. And uh, then we're going to do some mining in today's video, guys. We got some mining to do. I'm excited. How about you? Boom. There we go. Boom. All right, cool. That's awesome. We got that complete. Let's go ahead and head to the mines. We got some mining we've got to take care of. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have been P4 for a very long time. And uh, as you guys know from the last episode, Crazed Gunner is not playing as much anymore. He happens to be... Is he online? He is online today. He's P24. He is trying to get to P25 and then trying to prestige or, I guess... Uh, reset to champion. I don't even know. I, I guess prestige is the right verb that we're using. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited for him. In terms of other things, um, you know, things are going well. Uh, actually, before this video started, uh, I want to share something a little personal with you guys. Uh, it's not really that personal, but um, basically, I, um, I cried before this video. Uh, that's right. I actually did cry before this video and you might be wondering why why did i cry um well why did i cry well basically my dad is going through a lot of stress right now um yeah my, my dad is kind of overwhelmed with all he's got going on he's got a lot going on and it made me realize like we all have a lot of things going on and before i get to that though i want to mention that yeah, I was crying, and I was actually praying for my dad. Um, after he left, he had to. He's a busy man. He's, he's got places to be, people to see, and things to get done. And uh, one thing I did after he left was I got on my knees and I prayed in the center of my living room. And to some of you, that might be a little weird. To some of you, that might be totally understandable. For some of you, that might be like really heartwarming. However you may be feeling, um, ultimately, I did that because I care about my dad. I care about my dad. I love the guy to death. He is such a great man. And it did make me realize, though, that we are all busy. We all have the same amount of time each day, but how we use our time and how we manage our time... Uh, is a good indicator whether we are responsible with our time or whether we are not responsible with our time or whether we're just kind of in the middle. But we get 24 hours in each day. We do. Uh, eight hours of sleep is probably what you should be getting. So that takes eight out of the 24 hours off right there. Uh, I have a full-time job. I actually work eight to five. So that's nine hours right there. I get an hour for lunch. So technically eight hours of work, but nine hours, I'm gone. You know, I'm away from home. Luckily, my commute is pretty short. My dad's commute is like 35 minutes. So that takes a big chunk out of his day just driving to and from work. It just shows like a lot of our day is taken by work and sleep. But we get, you know, seven, eight more hours to... You know, in some cases, we needed, in a lot of cases, we need to get more stuff done during that time. We need to prepare meals. We need to do chores like laundry, cut the grass, weed. You know, when I, when I say weed, I meant like weed the weeds. You know, like get rid of the weeds in your yard. I, I'm not talking about doing, you know, that other thing. But I'm saying we have things we got to do. So it eliminates the amount of time we have even more. And it's really important that we're responsible with our time, guys. It's really important that we figure out, like, okay, what am I going to prioritize in this part of my life, in this aspect of my life? What is more important over the other things? Because you only have so much time on this earth, and 
we're not even guaranteed tomorrow. But how are you going to manage your time? What are, what are you going to make more important to you? That is the question of the video. What are you going to do with your free time? The gym is one thing I'm trying to incorporate more into my life, but when I go to the gym, that means I have less time to make videos, and that stinks because I want to make videos. I want to, I want to grow my second channel. I want to grow this channel. I, I want to see what I'm capable of, but I also need to stay healthy. I need to stay physically in shape, and that's important too, and I have to figure out, wow, is that more important than making videos? Yes, it is. It is more important, and yet I still find myself making a video here rather than going to the gym. It's interesting how that works. I did go to the gym yesterday, thankfully. But I'm just saying, guys, we all have priorities, and we need to make sure the priorities are in line with what we want and with what our goals are and what God wants. If what you're doing goes against what God wants for you, well, that is something to maybe reconsider, and strongly, I would encourage you to reconsider. And if you don't know what God wants and what God doesn't want for you, I highly recommend reading the Bible. I read the Bible. Admittedly, I don't read it as much as I want to, but I read it a few times a week right now. That's the honest truth. I, I read it around two to three times a week outside of church. I'm trying to read it every day, but it all goes back to that time factor. Where do I rank my priorities? Where am I putting my time? I find time to upload a video on this channel every single day, but I don't have time to read the Bible every single day. Something doesn't add up there, con considering the Bible is more important than these videos, in my opinion. I should be making time for the things that matter. This video has turned into a pep talk, not only for me, but maybe for my audience who is listening. Guys, I highly recommend put your actions where your priorities are. And we got second place in the parkour, by the way. That's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, guys, I'm encouraged by what I'm saying. I hope that you're encouraged by what I'm saying. We've gotten some good mining in, in this video, so that's good. That's really good. And we're almost at eight minutes on the video. You guys know what that means. Eight minutes is when I can put advertisements on the videos. Super insane stuff. Love to see it. And we're going to do that. We are going to do that. Once we get to eight minutes, this video will wrap up. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for being with me and listening to me. And, and uh, I thank you for all your support. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. And consider buying a membership worth at three members currently at the time of recording this video. And thank you all so much for your support. With that being said, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and peace.